this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine. Continue the book of Proverbs. I'm going to continue to read. I'll finish chapter 1 to 6, move on to chapter 7, and I'm going to read it. Warning against the adulteries, chapter 7. My son, keep my words and store up my commands within you. Keep my commands and you will live. Guard my teachings as the apple of your eye. Find them on your fingers. Write them down on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister, and call understanding your kinsman. They will keep you from the adulteries, from the wayward wife with her seductive words. At the window of my house, I looked out through the lattice. I saw a mother simple. I noticed a mother young man, a youth who lacked judgment. He was going down the street near her corner, walking along in the direction of her house. At twilight, as the day was fading, as the dark night set in, then out came a woman to meet him, dressed like a prostitute and a crafty intent. She is loud and defiant. Her feet never stay at home. Now in the street, now in the squares, and every corner she lurks. She looked, she took hold of him and kissed him, and with a brazen face she said, A fellowship offering at home, today I fulfill my vows. So I came out to meet you, I look for you and have found you. I have covered my bed with colored linens from Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with a mirror. Aloes and cinnamon, come, let's drink deep of love till morning. Let's enjoy ourselves with love. My husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He took his purse filled with money and will not be home till full moon. With persuasive words, he, she led him astray. She seduced him with her smooth talk. At all once, he followed her, like an ox going to the slaughter like a deer stepping in a noose, till an arrow pierces his liver, like a bird darting into a snare, little knowing it will cost him his life. Now then, my sons, listen to me. Pay attention to what I say. Do not let your heart turn to her ways or astray into your, her path. Many are the victims she has brought down. She is slain, are a mighty throne. Her house is a highway to the grave, leading down to the chambers of death. So this is um, the uh, book of Proverbs, chapter 7, warning against adulteries. So this refers to those uh, married women um, setting the, um, like never uh, cease, either going from the street to the square, to lurking, um, to uh, corners, so this is referring to, and uh, my son, keep my word and store up my commands within you. Keep my commands and you will live. Guard my teachings as the apple of your eyes. Bind them on your fingers and write them on the tablet of your heart. So this is about a similar, um, every chapter start it, uh, from this um, calling my son, uh, pay attention to my wisdom or um, uh, what you should do, if you do this, you will leave. And this is uh, again saying, my son, uh, listen to my words. I think probably from his experience, he already mentioned, he looks through the window, he let us see a lot of young men, lack of judgment. So um, this is uh, saying that to keep the commands and keep the wisdom. And says to wisdom, you are my sister and call understanding your kinsman. They will keep you from adulteries, from the wayward wife with her seductive words. So this uh, calling that listen to the words of wisdom and so that you're not going to fall into the, um, the adulteries and the wayward wife. Um, so at the window of my house, I looked out through the lattice. I saw among the simple, I noticed among the young man, a youth who lacks judgment. He was going down the street near her corner, walked along in the direction of her house at the twilight as the day was fading and the dark night set in. So this is saying, this is what he saw. I think this is probably a parable. Uh, during his life, he probably saw this, um, even though probably even maybe possible at his young age. Um, uh, 
all through now he seems he's getting old and with a lot of experience and seeing many things so this is the wisdom from uh, the real he said I saw those people and then uh, out came a woman so what those lack of judgment the young people wandering around at the corner falling into a women's trap um, she's allowed and defined this is called in the uh, um, uh, she's loud and defined. Her feet never stay at home. And now in the desert, now in the squares, at every corner she looks. So this is saying, this kind of woman came out to him. And she took hold of him and kissed him and with a brazen face. And she said, um, sweet words, a fellowship offering at home. I fulfill my vows. So came out to meet you and uh, look for you and find you. I have covered my bed with colored linens, Egypt, uh, probably that refers to the good quality and also um, the luxury, to boast the luxury of what she had. And so then, um, Lure, come on, let's go drink the, uh, the wines, enjoy ourselves, and, and then say, my husband is not home, far away, and uh, so I'm um, saying, anyway, just saying that I'm alone and I, uh, I, this is God's will because she said she just had a fellowship offering at home and then came out to meet you. So this is probably um, the God's will uh, implied in this. It's quite uh, uh, dangerous. Uh, probably it's not uncommon uh, sometimes nowadays or in the past. It's just the build up, I think it's from the nature. Sometimes probably, some people probably did this for purpose for the purpose of adultery. Some people are probably not on the purpose of adultery, it's just doing this from genuine heart, but uh, uh, took, took it as wrongdoing, or it's a wrongdoing, but just the not in the conscious. But anyway, so just this is the about the wisdom talking to the young people to stay away from those uh, um, temptation, temptation, um, because it's along the way, um, uh, everywhere. Now then, my son, listen to me. Uh, pay attention to what I say. Do not let your heart turn to her ways and stray into her path. Do not do that. Um, many are the victims she had brought down. She, um, her sleigh a mighty throne, and her house is the highway to the grave. So those just the, uh, it's a dangerous way, dangerous path. Um, and so if um. If you do so without wisdom, falling in the trap is like the ox or the ox falling to the slaughter or the deer to the noose and also a bird uh, to the web. Uh, so this is saying that uh, uh, keep the teaching of the experience, the people in mind and keep wisdom, the calling from the heart. Every moment of the tingling the message give you the idea what to do what not to do so i'm going to stop here and uh, i hope you can read and interpret in your own way thank you for watching i will see you next time